Hey everybody, welcome back to the Iron Horse YouTube channel. I'm Dane. And I'm Greg. It's been a while since we posted. We've been kind of busy working with our plan sponsors, work, working with our various financial planning clients, and something that's come up quite a bit in the last several weeks as we've been meeting with people is businesses as well as plan participants looking at converting from a simple IRA to a 401k, which in all practice sounds great, sounds easy, sounds like it should be something that you do based on what a 401k can do for you that a simple can't. However, it's slightly more complicated than that. Yeah, first of all, the big thing is you cannot have two plans in one year for your business. And what that means is you can't have a simple for the first six months, then a 401k for the next six months. Everything has to happen at that new calendar year, so January 1st. Doesn't mean you can't talk about it before then, because it's really a good idea to get everything in line and in place, but you can't actually make that switch until January 1st. Correct, so if you've made any simple IRA contributions in 2022, you are stuck with a simple IRA until 2023. But like Greg said, a lot of record keepers get swamped come January 1st of 2023. So if you are thinking about this, if you wanna know what your options are, it's a great time to start having that conversation now because unlike a simple IRA, there are a lot of things you can do inside of a 401k as far as plan design, as far as match, as far as loans, as far as Roth, all of these other tools, all of these other things that can be done for both the business owner as well as the plan participant to benefit them that really needs to be hashed out before you even start the conversion process because it's gonna make everything down the road so much smoother. And I think it's important too that you get to do your due diligence. Uh, you know, For example, if you have your simple IRA at Vanguard, mm -hmm. you can easily do the 401k at Vanguard, but is that the right choice for you? If you go through the right process and making sure that you're using the right record keeper that can do that plan design for you in the right way, it's really gonna make the plan go much more smooth, both at the beginning and in the future. And also a lot of times you, you can't just go off price on it either. Right. You know, um, I've had some medical offices that, it, you know, they start off with the lowest cost 401k out there, but then as their practice grows and everything, they realize, oh wait, this is bare bones. I can't do everything I want to do. So taking that time to really plan both now and the future really makes a big difference. 100%. And one of the most recent conversations I had with a marketing firm they were looking at it as more of a retention tool because the employees didn't really understand a simple IRA, but everybody there had had or understood what a 401k was. So also considering what messaging you want to give to your employees, how you want to come off as an employer is a huge part of this conversation. Yeah, definitely because if your competitors are offering a 401k and you're offering a simple IRA, even though they can operate very similar, mm -hmm. in the head of that potential employee, they're two completely different things. So you wanna make sure you're on the same level as your competition. Correct. So if you have questions, please leave a comment. Please let us know or reach out. Please consider subscribing to our channel. We are putting out great content, giving information like this, uh, hopefully weekly moving forward. Thank you so much for watching today. Hey, Danny. Yeah, Greg. Got it. one last question for yes, you. Yes, sir. Here. What are you called if you can't decide what kind of pizza you like? In deep dish slice of? No. <laughs> In the slice of. In the slice of? I was close. You were close. I'm proud of you. Dad jokes. Hey, thanks everybody. Have a great week.